I said, we're gonna do a first impression on the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I picked the D shade 742, which is also called medium beige. So I'm gonna prep. I already moisturized and all that jazz just to save me some time. Um, but I am going to put some of this pore refiner on my T zone area. I'm gonna take a pump, I'm just gonna put it on my plate. I'm gonna use a beauty blender today. This color looks pretty good. Are you mad at it? Compared to the last color I've been getting. It has a I was gonna say it was my my beauty blender, but it has a fragrance in it. It almost smells like Chanel products. Like it has that like chamomile strong aroma. So I don't know if you are sensitive. It is. It is very fragrant. It blends really easy. Ain't mad at it. So here is one pump. Did really good. Um, just on my veins here, and I told you guys that is the vein I usually tell, like if the foundation can conceal it, and I know how much of a coverage it is. But I'm gonna do one more pump. I'm sorry, my voice is a little bit raspy, but this weather is just against me. So definitely buildable. I like how it just blends like skin. Like it looks really good. Wet and raw concealers. Everybody in their mama has been raving about this. So I'm excited. I got light, medium, and light ivory. But I'm looking at the mirror and the monitor, and it looks fabulous eye cream under here because your girl's eyes my allergies Whew. this summer is gonna be brutal so I'm gonna do both and then I'm gonna go and I like that this one the light medium has like a peachy undertone and you guys know how I need to correct these under eyes blend I like to leave my under eye concealer a little so I can get a little tacky and do its job. The lens is really nice. And I'm sorry if you hear us being on the back. You guys already know the deal. Since my nose area is dry and I've been blowing my nose nonstop, I don't expect the foundation to last there. But let's pray it does everywhere else. It blends really nice. And the foundation was $11.99 and the concealer was, I believe, $4.99. Um, a lot of people are comparing it to the Tarte Shape Tape. I can see why. The consistency and the coverage is really good. That's what we have so far. And again, I like to blend it all together. I don't like to have such a harsh halo eye. Not typically. Typically these days I don't even like to wear makeup, but when I do, it's not what I like them to go for. Okay, so here we have the face so far. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then I will be back later to show you the final look. It is currently 2.15, just in case you wanted to know. But yeah. Alright, my beauty. So here is the final look. Here is the face looks really good so far I'm going to oh, I'm gonna 
run some errands, do some stuff, and then I will be back later to show you how it looks. Also, so you're aware, I didn't set it with anything, no powder, no spray, nothing like that, just to see. And honestly, it blended really good with the um, bronzer and concealer and everything. The only thing I did set was my under eye area because Lord knows we need to. Um, but I didn't set the actual face. It's not sticky. Uh, a little down here, but it's not sticky up here. And the products blended well together. So, so far, I'm loving. I will come back later and let you guys. It has gone away from my nose because I've been blowing it. Um, but it's not as bad as other foundations. I've blown my nose at least two or three times. Let's make sure that my buddies. Um, but yeah, you can see that it is red around the nose. You can see my veins are back. Um, but it didn't take away the foundation from the sides. Yeah, I'm not oily or dry. Um, foundation has not moved and I didn't set it as I told you guys I didn't use any setting spray no fix plus none of that or any kind of face powder usually I use the MAC press powder didn't use that at all um, and it's held up pretty pretty good won't complain but this is what the concealer looks like underneath my eyes it doesn't look bad however I have been itching and scratching my eyes I'm sorry um, but I don't, I don't I don't know what's going on today I just feel like so congested and so stuffy like I'm saying I feel like the foundation was a hit for me um, it looks really like skin like it's very good um, there is SPF in it, there's SPF 20, so I'm going to take a picture with flash and let you guys see how it looks. But it says, lightweight, full coverage makeup, this formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20, vitamins and antioxidant. It is oil free. Um, so let's take a flash photo and see how that looks. Here you can see what it looks like with flash. It looks really good. It photographs amazing although it is SPF 20 I wouldn't use it for the night unless you do go up a shade because it will give you that cast back um, for daytime is great because it has SPF in it and typically a lot of women forget to use SPF but you should so you can not age as fast honestly I feel like the foundation was a hit for being drugstore it is a little pricey I mean $12 for drugstore is like what are you guys doing however it does look really good i love that it has a pump and that's a plus for me and a little comes out of a pump like say if you want to like you know just touch up in little areas you're not going to get a massive amount out of a pump um right now the foundation that i have been using has been the photo focus so i will let you guys know in a later video if it's kind of like taking its spot or not um but it looks really good. I'm sorry. I'm like, I feel like I'm dying in this video slowly. But honestly, if you haven't tried it, try it. It's really good. Um, this is the finish with no powder on it. Obviously, I have highlight on it, but like up here, you can tell like it's it has a little bit of dew. It's not matte flat. Um, I'd say I'm gonna say it dries to like a powder finish, but not like a flat powder finish because some foundations can leave you like extremely flat but I do get like a powdery feeling um, and I feel like that is the reason why I didn't have to set it and it like stood up um, it is now 640 I've had it on for roughly three to four hours I really do like it I'm gonna wear it throughout the week and wear it outside I will put it in the description box and let you guys know how I felt about it um, yeah I hope that you enjoyed this first impression give it a thumbs up so that i do genuinely know that you enjoyed it comment below and let me know what you guys want to see next don't forget to hit that subscribe button it truly helps me out also there's a giveaway going on on my channel if you haven't please do so and enter it ends next wednesday so get yourself in that giveaway i will list the video here so you guys can see 
and of course I will put my subscribe link somewhere here so you know you guys can hit that subscribe button but I don't think I have anything else to say other than thank you so much for watching and I will see you love in the next one